Hello and welcome to Eurocharged Boston. Uh, today we're talking about the airbags in the 166. It's pretty much the same concept in 164. So this applies to uh, ML, GL, uh, GLE, GLS, anywhere from 350 to 63, 450, 550. All of them are the same if they are equipped with the air suspension. Most of the American models have the air suspension. The exception is when you have coil springs. But what we're talking about is actually two things. Why these airbags wear and why they go bad and why they leak. And number two, why it's a terrible idea to lower a car that has airbags. So first thing first, the most common uh, view of the airbag, you, you see the airbag in this shape. This is not how the airbag goes in the car. Uh, this is the deflated state. Obviously, there's no air in it because the valve is open and it's folded. It is uh, compacted for to make it easier to ship. However, the actual um, way the airbag goes in the car is, hello there, is kind of sort of this way. And obviously, it's going to have the air going in, so it's going to have air pressure in it, almost 100 psi. And uh, the airbag is going to be in this uh, inflated state. Now, the way it bounces up and down, just like a, uh, a coil spring, is actually the rubber folds, and let me actually fold it in. This is kind of, sort of, how it goes in, in the car. This is the normal position for it. It has some range for it to expand, and it has range to, to, to compress. Now, the problem with the, the not necessarily the, uh, the problem, but the limitation of the design is you start to get uh, road pebbles and dust and grime and whatnot on this plastic socket. And as this thing is bouncing up and down the cars, you know, hitting bumps and whatnot, the dust starts to eat into the rubber right here. Actually, let me turn it and find you exactly where there's cutting. You can see it right here. This is the wear on the on the rubber material. And eventually this starts to to rip and leak air. Uh, the, the side effect of that is this, it starts out as, a, oh, actually, this is a perfect view of the, the cutting right here. So eventually this leaks air. And the symptom, you start seeing the car sinking to the ground within uh, you know a couple of hours after parking it. And it gets faster and faster as the the uh, the leak gets worse, and sometimes it's a, it's an abrupt uh, explosion. You know the thing rips, and you can see it literally ripping all the way up top, uh, and it loses com compression, and it, the car immediately sinks to the ground and no longer goes up uh, because of a fast leak. The solution is always replacing the airbag. Now. Uh, this brings us to the next point, which is lowering the car. Now, as you can see, this design folds the airbag. And folding it, just imagine how you would wash a, a piece, piece of clothing and how much wear you put on it when you rub it against itself. That is the exact same thing happening in here. Let's pretend we lowered the car by an inch. So now we have the plastic socket going deeper and deeper into the bag. And the problem with that is, as you can see, it, it starts to wrinkle and it's no longer uh, keeping a buffer zone in between the, the airbag and the plastic socket. So now you increase the wear on the rubber massively. Uh, and that's why when you lowered the car, the, you, you shortened the life of the airbag significantly. So there you have it. Num reason number five billion not to lower an SUV. Enjoy.